Philippines' largest TV network ABS-CBN ordered shut. ABS-CBN, the Philippines' largest television network, has been ordered to cease operations after President Rodrigo Duterte's allies in Congress refused to renew the station's 25-year license. In an order issued on Tuesday, the government agency tasked with awarding broadcasting licenses said, absent a valid congressional franchise, as required by law. The network should stop its various television and radio operations. The National Telecommunications Commission NTC, said ABS-CBN's license expired on May 4 and gave the station 10 days to respond. In an interview with ABS-CBN radio station BZMM, NTC Deputy Commissioner Edgardo Cabario said that the order is immediately executory, and Department of Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara affirmed the legal opinion. In a statement, which was first read on air over DZMM, the ABS-CBN management said that it will abide by the order and will stop operation. We did not violate the law. This case appears to be an attempt to deprive Filipinos of the services of ABS-CBN, the company said in a statement. After ABS-CBN files its response within the next 10 days, a hearing will be scheduled as soon as the coronavirus emergency lockdown in Metro Manila and other areas of the country is lifted. On Sunday, Duterte's Solicitor General Jose Calida issued a statement warning the NTC of prosecution if it did not carry out the closure order. Calida, the top government lawyer, said there was no legal basis to give the company even a provisional license as it awaited approval from Congress, which resumed its session on Monday after a recess. In a speech at the House of Representatives on Tuesday, Congress member Arlene Broses denounced the order as a brazen clampdown of the freedom of the press. Danilo Arau, journalism professor at the University of the Philippines, said that NTC's decision reflects that limits of its independence as a government body under the office of the president. This closure order is clearly an attack on press freedom and we should confront this head-on. The administration should be exposed as the real enemy of press freedom, he told Al Jazeera. With the shutdown, an estimated 11,000 employees of the company risk losing their jobs. Two ABS-CBN employees, who spoke to Al Jazeera on the condition of anonymity, said they were in tears when the station signed off after the nightly news. Since becoming president in June 2016, Duterte repeatedly expressed his disdain towards the television network, which is owned by one of the richest families in the Philippines. Duterte claimed that ABS-CBN refused to run his political advertisements during the campaign season, allegations denied by the network. ABS-CBN's coverage of Duterte's so-called war on drugs which has killed thousands of people also angered the Philippine president. Calido, the Solicitor General, maintained that the NTC has no power to issue any such license to ABS-CBN, citing provisions in the Philippine Constitution which, he said, gave Congress exclusive powers. Although this legislative power may be delegated to administrative agencies through a law at present, there is no such law giving the NTC or any other agency the power to grant franchises to broadcasting entities. A 2003 Philippine Supreme Court decision also ruled that the NTC could not issue a provisional permit without the legislature's backing. In a statement on Tuesday, the National Union of Journalists of the Philippines denounced the dastardly move of the deterred administration. All this stems from President Rodrigo Duterte's personal vendetta against the network, whose franchise renewal he pledged to block. It sends a clear message what Duterte wants Duterte gets. And it is clear, with this brazen move to shut down ABS-CBN, that he intends to silence the critical media and intimidate everyone else into submission. The Foreign Correspondents Association of the Philippines FOCAP, also issued a statement saying the move is clearly a case of political harassment against a pillar of the Philippine democracy. Source. Al Jazeera News.
If you like this video you can subscribe to JMCA TV and click the notification bell for more update.